Hi everyone, it's Marie here from Pear Tree Cut Files. I'm joining you today with a very quick video um, about cut files. <laughs> um, basically, I've had a couple of customers get in touch and say, how do you get, what's the best way to get the cut files off of the mat? And as you can imagine, I get through an awful lot of mats, an awful lot of paper, um, and I cut an awful lot of cut files every single month. So I thought it would be the easiest thing, rather than trying to explain what I did, was to actually show you what I did. Now, different people have different ways of doing this. And I know one of the ways suggested by um, Cricut and the makers themselves is to actually take the outside of the cut file off first. Now, please bear in mind, this mat has been used a fair few times. It's still very sticky, but it's not the stickiest of mats. Um, so this one will be slightly easier than if you are using a brand new mat. Now, I don't do that. I do not take this outside bit off first. I don't like doing it like that at all. I find if I do that, when I then go to try and remove the cut file itself, I've got nothing to sort of press against and move against. I like to leave that there so I can kind of lean my hand on the bits that are still stuck to lever off the cut file itself. So... I'm going to start with this one here, which is captured on camera. Um, I'm just going to press it back down as if I hadn't peeled it all off. Um, I do love these tools as well. These are weeding tools. These are designed for use with vinyl. Um, I find them incredibly useful for cut files as well. They've got a really, really sharp point. They're not like so sharp that you're going to hurt yourself. I mean, you could if you pressed hard enough, but they're not so sharp that you can't touch the end. Um, but it has got a sharp point on the end, and that's what I like to do to try and get these off. Now, the first thing I do is take the mat and bend it. Not so much that you're creasing the mat, just give it a little bend, and then go for the edge of the cut file here. And then literally, I follow it round with my finger and follow the line of the cut file. I follow the line of wherever the cut file seems to be peeling off by itself and I just allow it to sort of pop off do it nice and steady if you go too fast you are at risk of ripping a cut file I do do that quite a lot quite often because I'm trying to go too quickly um, now I can't carry on with both bits of this because as you can see these two aren't connected so I'm just going to let that flop back down it's not going to stick back down and especially because I haven't removed this, it's not going to get stuck to a different part of the mat and then potentially rip. That's another reason I leave this on. So then I'm just going to use my fingers to keep moving along and follow underneath. And then that bit's off. So that's completely loose now. And then I'm going to go back down to this bit here and do the same thing and literally just follow it around. And that's it. The cut file is off. That's captured on camera. Now, if you are a pre-cut customer or you've ever bought anything from me pre-cut, you'll know that I also like to send as many of these letters as possible. That's where this comes in and where I find this most helpful because I just tuck it underneath the edge of the letter and you can prop it off. And I go down and I just slide it along the mat and underneath each letter. Again, because I've left this large outer section on, it makes it much easier to prop off all these little bits. And I just stack them up. Same here with the word camera. And I just tuck it under the corner. And I try not to go too heavy handed, excuse me, with my sniffles. I try not to go too heavy handed with this because you can rip if you're if you're too sort of rough with it. Now this camera piece has an extra little ring that goes in the centre of the camera here. I do try and attach as many people pieces as I can so that there's less loose but unfortunately with a camera i think it just looks better if that is a separate piece so that's that entire cut file um off now if this were a super sticky mat um so if you've just gotten the mat out of the packet and you haven't cut anything on it yet at all um as you can I don't know if you can see but you can probably see there's lots and lots of cut lines on this mat it's been used quite a lot if it hadn't have been used quite a lot this is great for getting that first bit going and for running under fussy bits of cut files. I'm going to show you that on these bits of leaves here. This one's called Back to Nature. Um, and say you couldn't get it to come out, get it to come off at all. Just hooking this under the edge, grabbing part of it with your finger, and then run the edge of this kind of 
all the way along, especially if it's changing direction a lot. And this will help ease it off the mat without ripping, without any sort of tearing. And then you can always tuck it under and run it along. Um, a lot of the, um, see it's stuck there. A lot of the snowflake cut files um, benefit from having one of these to run along the edge because it makes it much easier. Now you'll notice if I pick this up, we've got the middle of the leaf now still stuck down. Now, two things I could do. I could put my hand underneath and pop it out that way and get my finger underneath that bit. The alternative is to use this again and just slot it underneath where you can see it starting to lift and run it along and then it's lifted. Same at this side. Might need to swizzle your mat around a little bit. I can run my weeding tool underneath each one just to gradually lift them off and then they're off. Um, and then this, the rest of this, should now lift off quite happily by itself, by itself off, without the weeding at all, just to move along. Things like a C, like this, I go for the points where it's joined, and then I allow the rest of it to lift very gently off of the mat. And just follow the line of the letters around, and then it should all pop off nice and easily. And then same thing again, I'm just going to run along with my little weeding. Occasionally you might catch the edge. If you just use your fingernail and run along, you can flatten that back out again. It's certainly saving my nails <laughs> to use uh, a weeding tool because I was previously using my nails to try and dig underneath. You do make more of a mess of the edges if you're always using your nails and your nails don't thank you for it either. Middle of that A there, middle of that A, and we're done. And then what I do is I then take off this whole waste piece here. I then use a scraping tool. I've not got it with me on my desk over here because my scraping station's at the other end of the room. And I just move along and scrape all of the bits off. Make sure you get every single little piece off before you stick a new piece of cardstock down. Otherwise, you could have cutting issues. I hope that helps and I hope you're able to get your cut files off your mats just a little bit easier. One final little tip, if you are using a brand new Cricut mat, um, I don't know if I said this already, but if you haven't already, stick a towel on it. So as you get it out of the packet and you start to, you're about to sort of use it, just get a towel and kind of pop it down all the way over. It just takes off that very, 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 very sticky-ishness to it. And Although I suppose by taking some of the sticky away, you are reducing the life of the cut files, uh, the cut mat just slightly, it does make getting those first few cut files off so much easier and so much less frustrating. My other one tip would be if you are on a brand new mat, do not try and cut something super intricate because it will stick and it is likely to rip and you're likely to not get it off. Um, without some sort of damage. So I would go for simpler cut files, maybe titles. I would avoid things like fussy, fussy florals or um, snowflakes, things like that on a, on a really sticky mat. Go for something else first. And when you've used it two or three times, then go ahead and cut whatever you want. But I do find on the stickiest of mats, getting fussy, fussy things off is incredibly difficult. And it just takes a long, long time. Um, so if you want just an easier life, <laughs> go for something simpler and then go for the more complicated stuff after. Um, I hope that helps. Thanks ever so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.